Hey everyone, it's Mr. G and in this video I'm going to show you what to do if you have an iPad or a tablet and you want to move a character around but you don't have a keyboard. So you can't just do it using the up arrow, down arrow, right arrow or left arrow key presses or those events in Scratch. So in Scratch what you can do to kind of replace that is to create sprites that are the arrow keys. So let me show you quickly how I would do that. I would go to choose a sprite and I would use the arrows and bring in four of them. So let me just bring in one, two, three, and four. So it's gonna represent our up, down, left, right. And I just have to make sure that I choose the correct costume for each. So if I go to costumes, I'm gonna make this arrow one is going to be up, arrow two is gonna be down, arrow three is gonna be right, and arrow four is going to be left. So all I did was I clicked on the sprite and I already had the costume tab open so it stays in the costume tab and I just changed it to the correct arrow. I could also rename the arrows so just so I don't like have to remember what arrow one, arrow two, arrow three means I can type in up, I can make this one down or call it down arrow, right or left. Or you could name it left arrow, right arrow, it doesn't really matter. But now you can see that the sprite names are representative of the direction that I want the character to move in. So now they're all over the place. What I'm probably going to do is put them down here in the bottom left. So someone on their iPad is going to have to click on these to move the sprite around. So I'll just put them in, in roughly the, the place that I want them. And there we go. This is this this will work. Someone using an iPad or a tablet can now press on these buttons and move the cat. But actually, they can't do it yet. <laughs> I need to um, I need to write some code in each of the sprites, in each of these arrow sprites. So as you can see, when I click on the code tab and I click on each arrow, there's no code in there. So what I want to do when the up arrow key is pressed, I want to send an event or signal an event that will go throughout the entire program that the cat can react to. So what I'm going to do is when the up arrow key is pressed, so in the events palette, or when it's clicked, I should say, when this sprite is clicked, I want to broadcast a message or broadcast an event. And we're going to name this up arrow key pressed, up arrow pressed or clicked. Uh, same thing for the down arrow. So we're just going to go over to the down when this sprite is clicked and a click is also a press. So when you, when you tap it on a tablet, that will also work. We want to broadcast the message. Uh, for this one, it's going to be down. Down arrow pressed. Same thing for the right. When this sprite is clicked, we want to broadcast the message. Right arrow pressed. And when the, oops, I did not mean to go into the paint editor. Let me go back to the code tab. And for the left arrow, let me just delete this extra sprite I just created. There we go. For the left arrow, same idea. When this sprite is clicked, we want to broadcast the message. We're going to make a new message because it doesn't exist. And we're going to broadcast left arrow pressed. Okay, so now that now that I have those broadcast messages being sent out whenever these sprites are clicked, I have to make sure that the, the sprite that I want to control can receive those broadcast messages, can receive those events. So we're going to go back to the cat. So sprite one, and we see that I already have the functionality for moving it with an arrow key. So that's still available. But now what I want to do is I want to react to the events that I just created. So when I receive is how you can react to events that you've created. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so you can see. So when I receive up arrow key pressed and we're going to bring in all four of them. So when I receive down arrow, when I receive, uh, let's see, this one's left arrow. And when I receive right arrow, um, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did in the, with, with the mouse keys or sorry, with the keyboard keys with the up, down, left or right. And some people choose to use W A S D, um, those keys to move a character around. You could also incorporate that as well. Um, but I'm just going to use the, the arrow keys and I'm going to bring in the same exact, uh, motion sprite or motion block, I should say. So it's going to be the same thing. When you press the up arrow, we're going to change the Y coordinate by 10 and down is going to make it negative 10. And I'm just right click and duplicating on these uh, motion blocks. But now, now that I have this code there, 
I can click on the, oops, if, if I double click, it's going to show up in the, um, it, it's, go, it's going to select that sprite and open up the code editor. But if I just click on it once, I can move my character around using these arrow keys. And so someone on an iPad, if they don't have a keyboard uh, attached or using Bluetooth, um, they could use this as the input to move their character around. So that's one workaround that you can do. I'm just going to make it full screen so I can click on this faster. And that way it doesn't think that I'm trying to code or change the, the sprite code. But this will work. Um, I've also seen some people create joysticks. So they have like a sprite that's down here that is, it's kind of like um what they do is a rubber band mechanic and make it so that you can move the joystick around. So that's also possible, but it's going to be a little bit trickier to code. Um, but maybe I'll make a video on that. If people request it, I could do that. But I think this is the simplest way for most people to be able to understand kind of how to recreate the same functionality for someone using a tablet and doesn't have keys or a keyboard to, um, to provide inputs to the character. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments below and I'll make a video on them if you want.